Hey. How's it going? I, uh, I thought this was going to take longer to set up, but it looks like everything's good. How's it going, Stefan? Hey, enjoy tomorrow. How's it going? <laughs> What's up? Stefan, was it last week? Uh, were you the one who said uh, I should get Signalis? Because I did start playing that last night. <laughs> it's a pretty good game. Twizzlo, what's up? Fingus Chew, good to see you. Uh, I'm doing alright. Uh, it's also been a busy week for me. Because it's tax day is Monday, and I've spent uh, the past two weeks um, <laughs> very conscious of my obligation to uh, <laughs> pay my tithing to the government. So, um, a lot of work, you know, I have a part-time job, and then also I've been doing a graphic design work for a TV show, came in at, like, the perfect time. And then also, it's like, I don't want a day to go without working on South Scrimshaw. Um, so some days ended up very full. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I remember, um, it's cool, Signalis is, uh, it's pretty good so far. I'm at, I'm at the very beginning, because, uh, like I said, I've been having long days, and then, uh, when I sat down to play it, like, my eyes are, like, half open. <laughs> it's, like, no way to enjoy anything, I don't think. <laughs> hey, Crow Wicked One, how's it going? Yeah, man, thanks for showing up. I appreciate having some, uh, regular viewers. So, hopefully, I think my stream will run... Also, if you see me looking to the left, <laughs> it's because, uh, that's where you guys are in my screen. It's the chat is to my left. <laughs> Um, my stream, my computer should run better today because Photoshop is not open. Uh, one tip you'll, you'll give if you think you're finished it, you may not be done yet. Nice. Trick endings are like a staple of horror games. Um, but let me show you guys. So the desktop, you can see Photoshop is not open. We are going to do most of it here. Uh, we are going to be sketching. Um, I, I'm also hoping to have more of like a process stream this time. Um, and I'll just cut those sections out and make a separate YouTube video for anyone interested in how I work. Um, I don't want to be like a art teaching YouTube channel because there are some really good teachers on YouTube who... <laughs> know more about painting than me and uh, would be a better source um, but when I was in art school one of the, the the things that actually really helped me a lot was when the school would invite speakers you know working professionals who've been doing what they do for a while like regardless of um, you know how like well known they were everyone has a perspective if they've been working long enough and you just like hearing more different people give different perspectives on their work is a really helpful way to approach your own artwork. So if anyone, I know there are like a few aspiring artists who show up every now and then. So, you know, it's just like one more perspective to like add to whatever's already going on in the head. Curious how the art style converts into sketching. Well, that is gonna be part of <laughs> what I talk about today. Um, I may wait a couple minutes before launching into the long talk to see if anyone else shows up. Um, but, uh, one thing I will say, I'm in, like, the least ideal space to be doing watercolor painting. Like, for watercolor, what you want is, like, a lot of natural light. You want, like, a lot of space. And, uh, I'm underground on a tiny table that's, uh, I think, a very expensive piece of furniture that I don't own. <laughs> so, like, I have the, the drop cloths down that are, like, plastic lined on the other side. It's like... I have, like, this awesome drafting table that is just, like... I destroy the work surfaces that I work on, and it, it's just, like, battle-scarred, which I think is a good... is, like... I like seeing that, <laughs> um, but I can't do that to my landlord's furniture here. Um, 
cued the spare. <laughs> I think she she really likes her stuff. <laughs> it's like spends a long time finding it. So um, gonna gonna not uh destroy anything today. It's not mine. Uh, what is the sketching specifically today? Yeah, this is all gonna be South Scrimshaw. That was I had fun definitely doing a depictionary last time, but. I do want to be um, working on South Scrimshaw, like, like every day when I'm not working on South Scrimshaw, I feel like I'm just wa wasting time. Um, so th this is going to be, I, uh, you know, just sort of, sort of anything useful. Like, sketching is more of just like a process of just dumping onto the page without any intention. And if they're like cool things afterwards that become something else, like if something becomes like a Brillo whale or like the back of a Brillo whale, or I see colors that I like it, that, that are useful, um, it's like, uh, I'm just gonna be kind of like fucking up these pages. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain more in a little bit. Or maybe I'll just get into it now. I, I it's like 12 people, that's, that's like all I, <laughs> that's everyone. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, I, I use this image from South of Scrimshaw a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, I think like the, the images that other people like aren't the same that I like, but this one was like, I still feel like it was a really successful one. Um, South Scrimshaw, you know, I write it before I even begin, um, storyboarding, so a lot of what goes into it is motivated by the text, like there's a description. Hey, little Wolfian, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, the little baby's down there. So, I mean, in that sense, there, there's already, like, the motivation of the narrative and the plot that I'm trying to meet with the image. But it's still like a, a pretty open-ended and flexible process, and I can change this because I'm the only person working on it. The script is never locked. I can keep changing it as much as I want. Um, but um, like I was saying, this so this image it wasn't like I, I had the idea in my head complete, and and then I typed it out, and then like I drew it. It, it was like a, a much longer process. Um, this is... <laughs> so one of the reasons I don't scare, share my sketching process much is that it a lot of times it <laughs> doesn't look like anything. <laughs> so, you know, the, the color of this, you know, this weird, like, mauve isn't something I would have picked, but it was just the way, like, the paint was mixing. It was, like, coming out nice. Um... You know, I thought about maybe this whale would be, like, furrier. And, and there is, like, a little bit of that over here. Um, but what I did like was just the way I could put this paint down and then kind of drag it. And it looked the best if I did, like, stripes of it. And then I could, like, line the stripes up. You know, instead of trying to, like, make one big one or make it, like, a smooth, continuous one, it was, like, well, I could do shingles with that. And that's kind of, like, where... So, the idea kind of follows um, what I came up with here. You know, it wasn't, like, I had the idea to be shingled. Like, I wanted... I knew I wanted, like, a symbiotic creature that was, like, building a shell, but, you know... I hope I'm making it clear that discovering what that is was really guided by just playing around with paint and seeing like what looked cool on the page. Um, and I feel like the most creative designs in South Scrimshaw are the ones that um, where I was sketching without intention and just seeing like what was useful or what what would come up. Um, so you know, um, a, a lot of what we're gonna do today, it's not gonna, it might not even, like, look all that cool, like, the way the, the pen and ink stuff does, it's supposed to be something, I'm just kinda <laughs> gonna scribble, um, but, you know, 
you guys do like with your suggestions like aid creative ideas so uh i think this could be fun i i like i have no idea as an experiment <laughs> truly experimental i don't know what the the results will be uh oh yeah you guys <laughs> some of you have prints of this i i mean i i appreciate that too it's like uh yeah, this one means a lot. So, um, in terms of, like, where to start, you know, because it's like, oh, we'll just do anything, um, form, uh, the digital paintings, um, I'll often choose a color palette with, uh, paints, so for a, a lot of the next two chapters, this underwater landscape, I'm doing w primarily with this triad, and then, like, um, I like turquoise and mauve, you know, to help that get stoned in there, too. And then, you know, I I drop her off this, so I'll probably just begin with these three paints. I think this is, uh, these two are gouache. This is Carmen and uh, Ultramarine that I think I'm out of, <laughs> almost. Uh, this is watercolor New Gamboge. Um which is kind of like more orange. You can see it's like a weird kind of, not a very full color spectrum, but um, I don't know. Um, so anyway, it, it the other thing uh, I have that, because I'm not wild about having a ton of liquid out, um, I have these guys. And it, it's been like, I, I literally don't remember the last time I touched colored pencils, and you can see these are completely fresh. I think these were like a, a Christmas gift from someone. Um, and I was like, heck yeah, because I, I hoard all art supplies. Um, so, uh, I'll, we'll see what comes out with that. Um, the, uh, the, other, the other thing that I was thinking maybe next week or the week after um uh i really like clay <laughs> sculpey and clay is like another it's like three-dimensional sketching and you can see this is just like this weird pile of garbage but you know that's a brillo whale <laughs> you know it's it's the mimic mother uh you know come back later so you know it's like there's just the and, and if I do things in clay, it can be, like, three-dimensional. Um, but uh, right now we're going to do, like, the, the wet media. Previously, um, is that a good brand? Yeah, Faber-Castell Faber is, like, uh, an excellent brand. Um, they're uh, also not cheap. Um, on, on the topic of brands, um, this is a sketchbook I got. Artist Loft. This is like the the Michaels brand. I'm expecting it to be like frankly crap, but we don't need it to be good. Um, if you are like just just be advised like th this is like the the real brand. Like when when I do finish artwork, you know it's it's much better. Um, it, it is like a like a get what you pay for type thing. Um, Anything is possible with the creative mind. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point is like, just, just kind of like let your mind wander. Um, and th this kind of like looser working process is like, took, took me a long time to get there because it's not my natural tendency. It's like, I want to like really, like I, I think I know what I want to make. And so I'm like too tightly trying to control the end result. And then it would be like, you know, too much just, I don't know, like, boring or, like, stiff or, like, lacking energy. Um, so, you know, this... Ki kind of this whole, like, process is, like, I don't know, helpful. Sketching, <laughs> you know. Um, clay stream. Yeah, clay stream will be fun, and I almost did it today. I just, I don't have my clay on me. Um, when you're, like, as nomadic as I am, I just have, like, boxes and, like, eight different places so there's like sculpey you know doesn't dry out so it's it's moldering somewhere i just gotta find it it's not cheap 
um, unfortunately. Previously, um, I used to use Copics markers a lot to do my sketching, and I would still be doing that, but all my Copics markers have gone dry. I've like, I, I like, I worked on a, um, uh, a television pilot production, and I was like, high enough up in the art department where like, I just had like a blank check to go to go spend at the uh, the art store so I just like went to like the Copex like shelf and was just like <laughs> and then, like went to the cashier and like uh I you know slowly just like emptied them all onto paper um I have some examples of that too um like you know this is scary gangster and it's like I'm just kind of like scribbling and then making sense of shapes um it's just like kind of its own look which isn't you know the look of anything finished that I do um you know but it, and then also I, I do stuff and it's like just weird color choices it doesn't have to like look correct um yeah if and if it's like if any of this is helpful uh, Little Wolfian, like, definitely, I'm more than happy to share. Um, also, like, making art is really, like, individualized, because it's, like, there's so many, like, moving parts, and what you're making could be, like, completely different from, like, what I'm making. So, but, I mean, it's just something else to think about and to try. Um, this is, it was supposed to be, like, hyper-violent comic book stuff, so he's, like, killing the devil um i showed this uh last stream like this tiger mural i was uh, almost commissioned to do didn't make it out of the uh sketch page but you know it's like i'm drawing tigers i want to like study tigers and you know with this stuff it's just like sort of punching down shapes and like not just sketching um um i tend not to share the sketching stuff because again most of it does not look good and it's like people will just like see art that <laughs> isn't good it's like the the sense of the process might be missing and it's like not how i want to like introduce myself and also it's like um there's also like a type of like self-consciousness that will like actively block the ability to just like truly brain vomit onto the page um so, I mean, hopefully I don't get, like, I don't know. We'll see how it goes today. Again, like, uh, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. But anyway, so that's, like, the, the rundown. Um, yeah, trial and error, but also there's not really, like, error. You know, there it's, like, kind of, I find it healthy just going into it, accepting, you know, like, when I draw these tigers, it's, like, none of them will necessarily like fit onto like the mural itself it's like kind of just doing it to do it um and it's like when you hit on an idea that's like really good and really works you know then you can like pursue that later um hang on i'm uh switching to more relaxing music than than boss fight music Let's do Hollow Knight. Um, yeah, man, I also, it's like the other thing is, uh, it, it is fun to just, like, play around with art supplies. Um, I also got these. This is, like, <laughs> like, uh, this a giant thing of, uh, casein paint, which <laughs> I bought because James Gurney was talking about how much he loved casein, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to use them yet, so I think they came in this like fancy box. It's bizarre. It's also water-based media. Supposedly, it's like a little more, um, I guess, not permanent. What's the word? It doesn't like lift the way gouache does. It's like sticks a little bit more. Um, anyway, not what we're doing today. Um, yeah. So that's gonna get hyped and then just probably make a bunch of shit. 
Um, I got all these. That's the other, it's like the other thing, I'm gonna warn you now that it's like, I don't know necessarily like best practices for like watercolor painting or like brush care. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, it's my stuff. I'll wreck it if I want. F off. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is the first watercolor brush that I got. Uh, it's a champ. It's been hanging in there. I bought this in art school, and I won't let it go. It is stuck forever. But this is what happens if you leave your expensive brushes. In, in the water, the wood swells, and then the top pops off. Um, and then your uh, expensive brushes kind of ruin. That's why they're covered in uh, tape. Um, but uh, let's just do something easy. I don't know. I do, I want to get into these like uh, pencils pretty soon. Because, I don't know, like I said, it's like a... Uh, Man, I have so little light in here. It, it really sucks. I like do not have any windows in my life. Like, but jeez, dude, no people. People are real. Real know-it-alls when they think they, they see something they can correct. <laughs> We're just gonna start making some shapes and then I will draw stuff over the shapes. <laughs> I, actually, I do have... I don't think it's here. I have a... One of my... Uh... It's not here. One of um, my art, but my art, like this thing, art bin. <laughs> One of them broke, so I stopped putting my art supplies in it, and it's just like a collection of souvenirs of just random stuff. But inside it, I actually have the first two tubes of paint <laughs> that I ever bought. They're like all old and crusty. Um, let me. It's gonna take me a little bit to uh, truly get into gear. So, uh, guys, give me colors. <laughs> well, like, uh, do a can't go wrong with a triad primaries. And green. Switch up. So I think I can draw over this like as it's. I kind of just want to see what this does. So with these pencils, you can work dry. These are like watercolor pencils. Or you can like, I guess draw and then... Close over. This brush is too big. Let's go with the... Uh, get a better shot of what's going on here. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention before I forget. Last time in chat, 
someone I guess was expressing skepticism that cadmium is in paint. This is like a <laughs> most definitely is heavy metals. <laughs> so <laughs> I do sometimes know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's the uh, secret? Color options are uh, anything, really. We got, we got this like ball and <laughs> like watercolor pencil set. Actually, I, I would love to use all these up. Like, uh, what can I use for this? Is this tall enough? right there. Uh, this is something I should have figured out beforehand. Sorry guys. You know, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a huge waste of time. Well, The music is a uh, green path from Hollow Knight. <laughs> it, it, this is like very <laughs> kind of a dumb reference, but you know, like you know, like when Bob Ross is painting, he's like, "Oh, happy trees." It's like, ah, oh, this is like a happy little creature, and then he's like. Like the the way like the uh the water dried is there's not like this big like see you can barely see what I'm talking about but like the weird um how to put this like uh like the randomness of actual like physical media compared to the absolute control and sterility of digital environments like if I do like um, you know like uh, Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park and he's like explaining like chaos theory with like the drop of water it's like like, this is, like, way more complex than what Photoshop simulates, and I don't do a lot of my actual, like, real painting in Photoshop, or in, I do a lot of my painting in Photoshop, but, like, um, being able to, like, go outside that just to, like, have uncontrolled playtime is, like, I don't know. It, it, it's very useful, and it's worth doing even if you're a digital artist, completely. <laughs> this is like... This is all gonna bust out now, because I squeezed it trying to open it. Now it won't go back on. Screwed up even more. guy's got like a, a weird face it's also like just like useless where you know like when you're like staring at like clouds in the sky like making stuff up it's it's kind of also like that too um. this guy's kind of bloody can i flip this actually I wish I could, uh, like, mirror this. Ooh. 
what was that? Oh, uh, sweat. Oh no, <laughs> the plastic thing. That's just for change, man. It's like, uh... <laughs> Coins are like a useless currency. <laughs> Until, like, they add up to, like, 20 bucks. And you go cash in with the bank. When this guy draws, I'm gonna like make him into a creepy thing. I'm not sure that guy. <laughs> Swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, yeah. I don't want to swear. It's just like, uh... My brain has adopted it as a stutter word while I'm thinking. Oh, this guy sucks. <laughs> Keep on trying. <laughs> Let's see what blending these colors looks like. If if like I can make watercolor pen pencils work. It does seem like incredibly convenient. Like how much pigment you have to put down to like... I mean, the point isn't even like making 
quality color theory choices, you know? It's kind of like... There is, like, literally a spot where you just, like, stop thinking. And then, like... It's not, like, automatic drawing. Which is, like, a... A really dumb phrase. Um... But, but it is kind of just, like... I don't know. You can almost, like... Different parts of your brains do different stuff. I need the part that worries to just, like, <laughs> go do something else. <laughs> I also... don't mean to ignore chat. I think this one, this page is gonna be like yellow and this dark pyroline green and then the, the carmine. Although we've got some blue up top. Everything will fall off the table. No, it is like this is a really narrow table um, and not how you want to be painting. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> yeah, the, he's looking like some kind of. He's ominous. That much is clear. I, I, I like, like, the. The weird bright red. He's like, he should be like a crustacean or something. Like a. Do this like. Put some orange in there. Somewhere. It's too much red. It's overwhelming. It's also very blood-like. Cool if his claws like aren't colored the same. Like, one is like a uh... has less orange in it.
the other thing I'm just gonna also preempt the, cri <laughs> the criticism is that uh, when, when I first began watercolor painting I was so stressed about like not wasting my paint and, and then it's just like I at this point where like that concern is not helping me do anything so um if I accidentally like squish down too much stuff it uh it is what it is that's also like why you know if there's like a I don't know. I will sometimes opt to use colors that aren't necessarily stuff I need later. Or if there's like some tube of like ugly paint that like I I have no idea why I even bought it. <laughs> I'll, I'll sketch with that, you know. This is like a some kind of Obstrosity going on here. So then his body would like segment up there. Actually, I kind of like if, if his body goes from that like red to like weird greens on the side. I feel like I've seen lobsters do that. Also, I will say, like, with, the uh, sketching, uh, there's no reason to ever worry about photo reference, because that's kind of, it's almost like getting away from real things, it, you know, it's like, if I want to make a lobster, I already know what that looks like, <laughs> you know, it's like, if I can, like, make up some weird thing that's, like, my, like, misremembered lobster is probably going to be more interesting than photo reference. For backgrounds, I feel like these would save time. Yeah, I mean, um... For, like... I, I guess it depends on the, the subject matter. Some bone spurs coming off his claw. <laughs> or there's like something furry living on him. Yep. <laughs> there's more water on the paper than on my brush, so. Instead of coming out of my brush, it's going into my brush. This is some kind of like robot looking at him. Alright, while that guy dries, I'm gonna keep randomly doing this to see if anything comes out that I like. I kind of like that where it's like, there's like a, a damp spot of paper. I if I can like...
you can really see how like when uh, something's wet on the page how much more vibrant it appears it's probably gonna dull back down after it dries that was one of the reasons why uh, I was so taken with Copic's markers and I stuck with them so long is like the uh, you truly get some like really bright pigments out of markers um, that are like almost unnaturally vibrant. <laughs> hey, it's K.A. Angel. <laughs> I play your game. <laughs> I was just explaining that uh, this is a sketch day. Um, I won't uh, force everyone to listen to the explanation again, but um, we aren't trying to make anything defined. We are just blobbing down color and then seeing what happens <laughs> in, in like hopes of inspiring future ideas. I would destroy your mangoes. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Needy Streamer Overload was a really good game, I believe. <laughs> I like the how dark the streamer overload uh, allowed itself to get. It's also like a. <laughs> It beats up pretty hard on the character, but you can tell, like, the creators, like, didn't hate the main character, you know? It's almost like a... Um, in its, like, critique of, like, internet culture, there's not, like, animosity behind it. Like, I think if it was, like, truly bitter about, like, streaming and, like, trying to, like, make an indictment, the game wouldn't have worked. Like, it wouldn't have had that, like, levity. Um, and then, like, the dark parts would just be, like, unbearable. Um, I once saw, like, some, like, internet... Uh, I don't know. Critique of it that I didn't agree with. That was saying it was, like, way more, uh... I don't, I don't know. Critical than I think it was. Soundtrack also very good. Um, <laughs> no, I like the I, I often uh, load up paint on one brush and then push it around with another. Um, it works. I'm not organizing this place stuff. Where the heck? It's too early for this. There it is.
I think this is gonna be like a robot. He's taking a piece out of your robot. Now it's malfunctioning. Which would be funny. There was like something screwing with camera equipment like that. Unintentionally. Unknowingly. Yeah, that'll be like some kind of claw. Um, after I do this first page, I'm gonna try to find a way to mirror OBS. Um, so you guys can see it from the direction I am seeing it. I'm trying to do just like something, I'm trying to resolve this more than I probably would uh, left to my own, <laughs> own devices without anyone looking, but um, maybe that's not a bad thing. I want this guy to have big bright antenna. It's also fatter for some reason. It has spots. <laughs> I don't know. Get no stripes. like some of everything everywhere but none of it's organized so it's like kind of useless in a moment like this I want you guys to have a better view of what I'm doing otherwise it could probably be what if I said Cam? <laughs> no? <laughs> Hang on. We'll figure this out. Let me, uh. Wait, no, then. <laughs> then I can't see what it looks like. I apologize, guys. Oh, yeah, no, I kept this tin. The, uh, the fruitcake inside it was fucking disgusting. But, uh,. Okay, so ideally, this. So like right here, what is this height?
If I stack the can on top of something, that would work. I'll pull the paints out like this so I can get it the blender. work better. <laughs> Yay or nay. Kinda good? Alright. That's uh... I think that is the best that I can do for you guys at the moment. Um, there's also like a kind of momentum to doing stuff like this, where like I don't want to allow myself to get too distracted. And I am really cramped, but I'll survive. You know, artist, we, <laughs> you gotta work around your limitations. <laughs> Scoop paper to left to put brushes on right. Like this. You know what else I should do? Start a poll. Color for next page. Blue. What other colors are there? We can do red. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> I wanted more options than that. <laughs> Color for next page. Blue, green, Alright, those are those are the only options right now. <laughs> Backstory of the tin. Uh, oh, my friend just had a bunch of really gross fruitcake for the holidays, <laughs> and uh, I volunteered to take one because I am uh, always looking for food of any variety. <laughs> I'm, a, <laughs> I'm an opportunistic scavenger, so I did eat it. It was not very good. <laughs> soundtrack but I want to do Hollow Knight again. <laughs> yeah I mean it's like 
it was like the type of thing you could just chop up and eat with coffee, you know? It was just like a starch. So that's that's a camera. <laughs> Not a gun. <laughs> so this camera. somehow attracted all these like white fuzzy things to live on it and those white fuzzy things are the natural food of the lobster thing and pulling off the fuzzy things he disabled the camera that's what's happening here See, even there's also just like watercolors are just pretty. Like one reason to play in it over digital is like all like I don't know. You just see like these like nice streaks of pigment, and uh, it just has a nice look to it. Let's uh, put some detail on his face with a color pencil. You're painting pots, like, uh, for, like, plants, or? Uh, no, I just use, uh, water. I guess alcohol would be if you need them to dry faster. Um. Yeah, I can't say I've really ever... Uh... Hmm. Kinda liked it better before I blurred it.
doesn't smudge at all. Not feeling it. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, the that's that will definitely sell shows. Actually, no, I take that back. I kind of like. What <laughs> was I? What I was saying about the uh, not liking the paint. There's like a there's like this gross veining thing going on. I feel like people would, like, if you painted, like, a grass-type Pokemon on them, it would be totally... What, uh... Something like PGX people would be looking for. Yeah, with, uh... You can do all kinds of stuff with, uh... To get different looks of watercolor. Um... Another popular thing is, you know, when it's real wet to drop salt on, which I could actually show. Um, just the, anything that sort of like messes with the drying rate or osmosis. Um, the blue is kind of competing with the green here, so it wasn't like the best call, but it also does not matter because I'm making it up. I might just turn to a new page. This one's kind of done. I don't really care about the robot. I'm not going to try to do anything with that. Um, I kind of like the idea of this, like, lobster pulling apart a drone to get it, like, fuzzy little things. Like, maybe that'll become something later. Um, but, uh, I'm more interested in, I kind of like the streaks back here. Um, <laughs> I've actually been watching uh, the original seasons of uh, Sailor Moon. And the way they do like their background is often just these like color gradients with like detail painted over. Uh, I don't know why that's making me think of that, but I, I want to like. It's also kind of got this like stained glass feeling, so I'm gonna do more sort of streaking. Green won the next one too, so that's like perfect. Um. Let me give this a couple seconds to dry. Or actually, let me just do that. Be nice that. And it's gonna pop off anyway. So, I mean, again, like I was saying, I was working to uh, resolve that into a picture, but. The lobster didn't look amazing. It's nothing I would ever post to my social media. Doesn't matter, you know, because it's like not what we're here for. It doesn't look terrible, it's just like... It's not the entire way to being an illustration. <laughs> there, there is more to figure out with him. But I, but I do like the kind of like reds in uh... there is something there. Again, it's like a... looking for just ideas. It's like 
places to take things. Red also isn't like a, a color that like I naturally think to employ. Like something like super vibrant. I'm gonna do this like quilt work here. So we'll do like patches. I'm a. Actually, I should also probably. Uh, if you all want to see, that was the last page. I'll be right back. 30 seconds. This needs to get swapped out. got back I saw the uh <laughs> the chat message appear. I had a wider <laughs> There's like not a lot like These pencils really want to lift off the page. Like, I feel like, uh, even just going lightly over, um, you probably need way more than I put down on. There's also, like, a... I think it's, like, a significant amount of pressure, too, because at a certain point they've, like, Build up the taper fibers and they don't want to like stick to each other. I can just sort of like brush out most of the pencil line, but then it's all just like kind of one color, I'm not terribly impressed. It's kind of why I never like use these much, what if I like wet the pen itself? Oh that's, that's actually kind of neat. So it's like wetting The tip is kind of like falling apart as I'm drawing. It's kind of, kind of fun. Um, I've I've never really used watercolor pencils, just because I I don't like that they're often like visibly watercolor pencils. Like you can see that kind of like trace of being drawn on. <laughs> it was. Some... I'm your favorite streamer. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I'm glad uh, I can be like a weird small streamer. <laughs> I really need a smaller brush. Watercolors, it's like... So much watercolor goes by feel. It's like... Um, I'm not even saying I'm like a super expert at it. 
<laughs> this page is literally nothing. I'm just trying to get a sense of what these do. That's kind of nice. Like blending these compliments together. Actually, these are, uh, <laughs> I take back what I was saying, when you wet the, the pen, they're actually kind of fun. This is neat. Like I mentioned earlier, um, <laughs> I'm going to find a reason to like watercolor pencils because I have this <laughs> gigantic thing of watercolor pencils that uh, I'm not going to not use. <laughs> like... If you do something like that, like you, it's like, um, because you're painting on paper and not canvas. Um, when you go over something too many times with the brush, the actual paper fibers will just be like, you know, like just, you, you'll be destroying the paper. Um, and uh, more, better paper can take more abuse, but you just don't want to really do that to begin with. The, um, hmm. You guys really can't see what I'm doing. I need to turn down the exposure on this. I apologize. This is a... Wait, just... I'm, I'm not really... <laughs> Again, it's like... This is the type of stuff where I'm just kind of media experimenting and... It's like, oh, it's like I'm a five-year-old, <laughs> you know, it's like not really stuff you want to show off to people, um, but right now the, the paper is overexposed, so you can't even see my five-year-old scribbles, so there's got to be a way to adjust the exposure. Um, Oh, 
webcam uh, filters. Okay, wait, this might be way too... Uh, noise suppression, noise gate. Three band equalizer. What? This, none of these use uh, video delay. No. What is three band equalizer? Oh, there we go. Is that it? Oh no, that's audio. <laughs> um, I think I just have to keep my shadow over it. Um. There's like one of the ceiling lights is right above me, but uh, if I turn off my overheads, I will not be able to see anything. I need. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I can see. I'm like more worried that like. if you guys can't see. That's kind of cool. Where it's like a... I don't know, get, getting this like heavy striped I might be able to do something with that. Like, I can do, like, some kind of... When that dries, some kind of distant seaweed effect. forest and you would have like um the ones closest to you be this like dark green and then you would have everything like recede back into this green haze it gets lighter as it goes that are like the size of redwoods or something. <laughs> hey, Toucan Man. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> We're doing some, uh... <laughs> fish, but mostly I'm just, like, uh... Scribbling. It's like light gradient. If I do like a darker gradient that then pulls into it.
if I could steal one Subnautica creature. Uh, you know, I haven't <laughs> played Subnautica yet, <laughs> but um, I have seen uh, in the opening the way they handle, like, you come out of an escape pod and then there's like the larger ship exploding in the distance. Like, that is like uh, pretty fantastic. I own Subnautica because of the, um, <laughs> when Epic Game Store, I don't know if they're still doing that, like, constant giveaway stuff, but, uh, Subnautica was one of the games that I claimed for free. I have never, uh, <laughs> actually purchased a game from the Epic Game Store, and I've never actually booted it up on my computer. <laughs> I was just, like, collecting free games. I do want to play it, I'm just like, um, crafting games are not my thing, and, and that like kind of has put me off starting it. Um, pencil sharpener, I do not believe I have in this apartment. So this is going to be like uh, some kind of, I'm just enjoying like streaking this stuff. I might just draw a fish on top of this. to think if there are any creatures I would want to steal. I feel like the soot sprites from Spirited Away, I love them dearly. the 
this is like it's coral or rock or something. Interesting pattern. Yeah, <laughs> you could just enchant the dust to be soot sprites. That film is so perfect. It's like it's like effortless little details you remember forever. They sit tra 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 trails sit everywhere. I'd uh, I'd live with that. They're sit sprites. <laughs> Maybe you could just like keep them in the basement, like the furnace room. Also, hello, Beckus. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Hey, Charles. <laughs> so, uh, if you want, like, the full explanation of uh, why I'm just scribbling, like, a toddler instead of uh, drawing things that look like sophisticated fish, um, I, ga I gave a lot of the rundown on, like, how I enjoy sketching uh, at the very start of the VOD, but um, the, the short version is is it's just like the, the intention is to just dump without intention, and then if, if something cool comes out of it that's useful, that's cool. If not, that's also cool, because I'm kind of just playing around. And uh, the other thing is I have this entire box of Faber-Castell watercolor pencils that are pretty nice, and... I'd love to get more comfortable with them, where I could just use it as part of my, you know, sketching technique, or just have it in my arsenal, because they're way less water than actual paint. Um, if I could just, it'd be easier to carry around, like if I had like three or four. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the quick rundown. <laughs> Sophisticated. <laughs> Oh, no worries, Charles. Uh, last stream was uh, the secret stream, because I <laughs> it's not uh, up with the others, but we just played uh, Pictionary. You didn't miss anything. I needed a day off. I was, like, hyper burned out. <laughs> Feeling like these should be things growing out of the ground. Hmm. I don't know what 
boxes. Not really getting anything out of this page. Um. Like, uh... Yeah, reconnecting with analog medium is a good way to put it. And like I said, like, you get into digital where it's like you have such, like, absolute control over every pixel. And even when it, like, tries to simulate, like, water fuzzing around, it doesn't really do it. Um... For me um it's just like not the same and also it's like yeah it, it, i don't know it, it just feels good like i don't it, it's like splashing around with like wet things just has like kind of a vibe to it <laughs> it's like uh hard to define but kind of real Maybe instead of the background, these colors are like the insides of something. It's like... I don't know. Weird things sprouting from the floor. You have a giant pencil case? Yeah, I mean, th this is like a really similar deal. And, um, I was just saying, I used to do a lot of sketching with markers. Um, and all my markers have run dry, so I am now moving on to the other things that <laughs> that I have available to me. Like, this is something that's translucent. Yeah, not feeling that either. Like some kind of dome with like a... That's that one fish with the, uh, transparent head with, like, the two eyeballs. That would actually kind of be, like, a cool brillo, like, you know, where, like, see, that's the whale, and then, like, has this like inflated chamber to like hold things inside it. That's not what it would look like, but like just having the like just having the idea is more valuable than like making something that doesn't look bad right here, you know? Um Yeah, I actually, I, I kind of like that. You could maybe like 
You'd be like kind of like the Zeppelin, in, in like the front of the whale snout would pop out, and then you'd like have this inflated section with all these things that need to live in the little gas chamber. And then these like whale things would pop out, and you'd like shuttle them around. I have no idea what benefit the whale would get. <laughs> Not the important part. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so that's something. You guys can now see better on the camera, but it is so dark in my room right now. I'm like in darkness. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Now I'm over... I'm overexposed. <laughs> I just looked over at the actual broadcast and I am like this is like ghost Nathan. I've I've died and I've come back to talk to you about watercolor paint one last time. <laughs> I'm too white for the camera to handle. I'm glowing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's evil twin. <laughs> Ghost Nate. I'll make this guy into some kind of thing. Should that be his chin or should that be an open mouth? That'll be a beak. It'll be a bird. His expression's a little uncertain, because he's underwater. He doesn't know how he got here. feathers that kind of fuck that up. Sorry, dude. You got a bad haircut. You save it. Won't condemn you to a bad haircut, bro. I hope to, uh... Move to a room with a window this summer. <laughs> I don't want to be like a subterranean computer person anymore. Oh, while I'm, uh, just came to me randomly, um, but I did want to mention that Good Old Games, GOG.com, is having a visual novel sale that's going from April 18th to April 25th, so that's coming up. Um, they, uh, South Scrimshaw, the making of book. DLC is only like 20% off so for like a $15 um, for, for $15 I, I don't like know how much there we go much better 
Although now you can. Um. There's gotta be some in between where you can. This bird is messed up. I'm really working to get something. Out. Anyway, they're having a visual novel stale. It's coming up. My DLC will be part of the sale, and I will mention it again in the week it's going on, and we can, like, see what other visual novels are for sale. The people at GOG are super nice. Um, with, with Steam, it's like everything you do is through, like, automated systems, almost. I mean, I've talked to, you know, it's like Steam is customer service. Um, for developers, it's pretty good, um, so I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not bragging on Steam, it's just GOG, they're, they've been, uh, they're always very helpful, and it's like you talk to a real person more, I feel like, at GOG, so definitely consider their storefront, they're great. <laughs> We're an FBI, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do need a new hat. <laughs> I'm trying to get my face in a place where it's not blocking. So, I'm done with this page. At, at, this is another thing where it's like, why I don't share sketches and stuff, because like, as illustration, this sucks. But, I, I like the idea of the Brillo Whale I came up with, and I will include that in Chapter 5, most likely. Um, there's a yellow bird on the other side there. He's okay. I don't dislike you. The rest of this. Actually, I like the bird's, like, weird head. Like, his eyeball is, like, up here. It's in the wrong space. I might use that also. Anyway. Uh, for the folks who got here not long ago, this was page one, which again is like not amazing or anything, and it's not supposed to be. I'm literally just mining for ideas and having fun splashing around. Um, Alright, you all may pick colors. four colors, and then we'll only use pencils in the next page. I'm missing one. Well, oh, there it is. No, I know, I'm not, it's not about, like, calming down or anything, I just, like, want, you know, to reiterate what's happening, because, like, uh, I don't, take for granted that people, like, are able to see in the, my thought process. <laughs> that would be a bad assumption. Put a chowper. You do. Chow- <laughs> Chowpers are a fan favorite. Um, I'm like, uh, not 
I, I don't know. It's like, I, I feel like uh, of the things that people liked in the, the first four chapters, I don't want to recycle too much, but Chalpers kind of have to be come back. Try some of these browns. <laughs> I'll do this dark one. We'll do maroon. And then we'll do something light. Could it be yellow? Is that one? Orange? Could be orange. Try this white. We'll see what I can do. We'll do that. I don't know what noise you're talking about. <laughs> Windows are overrated. Uh, try living without them before you say that. I feel like it's illegal to have prisoners live in the conditions that I've lived over the past two years. <laughs> the pencil xylophone. What's that? What's the word for like when you when you go from like one end of the xylophone to the other? Hey, Sustainless. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm sketching today. We're just making scribbles and shapes and seeing if ideas come out of it. It is, uh... I did, I did the long explanation at the beginning of the stream, if you want to check that out. But, um... This is like, uh, I'm trying to come up with ideas for creatures and brilla whales and just kind of like dumping onto the page is a good way to do it. I kind of want to watch, I don't, follow, the Fallout series is, um, Amazon. That's like something I don't have, um, but, uh, I liked... I like the trailer, and I'm like, <laughs> I complain a lot about almost everything, so uh, it, it does look kind of cool. I also like Fallout, but it's not like one of like my favorite franchises. So like when the the showrunners inevitably take whatever liberties they were gonna, uh, I would just be able to tolerate much more change, I guess. I need to uh the trailer got you kind of hesitant. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like it had like the same. I I guess like what I would have feared the direction that they would have gone Fallout with would be like super like gritty or something, where it's always had that humorous vibe to it. Um, it's just like a very sardonic series. Um. So, I, I don't know. It definitely looked like Beth Bethesda Fallout, too. You know, they, they were, like, clearly... Their inspirations is from, like, Fallout 4-style Fallout. You know, not, like, you know, Fallout, like, 2 <laughs> or something. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd be open to it. It wasn't, like, something like The Witcher, where it was just like, Whoa. <laughs> they... <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, I, and it's like I'm not a, a diehard Fallout fan either. Um, I got to, uh, this water is so dirty. <laughs> I like tried to clean, it's like changing the color that's going down. Henry Cavill tried his best. He really did. What did I do? Yeah. This is also like, I I don't personally. Not, it's like a, a franchise as popular as Fallout, like, obviously has definable qualities in order to, like, get the fan base to begin with. So, like, I'm never against adapting stuff and not, you know, trying to understand the, the source material. But, um, I've never played a Fallout game for the story. Um, I think they have, like, cool settings, but like, uh, I, I don't know, I've, I've like never thought of Fallout in terms of like, amazing writing. Um, is my thing. Yeah, my, my expectations, e even like, um, sequels in, in the medium themselves, like, I, you know, I, I, I like new franchises, uh, I like new ideas I don't like, at this point, like, old franchises coming back from the grave, it usually doesn't work out, um, Case in point, Silent Hill, which we were talking about last time. <laughs> Just... Only, like, four core games and then just this, like, metastasizing other thing <laughs> coming out of the franchise with its name. You're a huge Lord Art, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> speaking of war, <laughs> as a Ryu Kishi and When They Cry fan, <laughs> you talk about new sequels coming out that complicate the war, <laughs> and that's made by the original guy with his blessing. <laughs> like, just, uh, I'll take new things over old things revived for the name recognition. But I, w I will watch Fallout at some point. Um. I feel like I've been mostly drawing squares because of how... Let's try to not draw squares. You've never played Fallout? There's like, um... I like Bethesda's Fallout. I, I'd played 2. And I played 3 when it released. So I like, I knew Fallout before playing Fallout. Um, 3 was, like... I remember, like, the switch to, like, first person wasn't initially accepted. Um, but it ended up... Especially after New Vegas, it, was they they did a good job bringing the franchise back um i think fallout 3 is 
uh, better than its like reputation. And I feel like its reputation is like finally like starting to swing back the other way. Uh, like it's the writing isn't the overall plot isn't amazing, but I I like the just like the character it is. I, I had a ton of fun when I first played it. Um, wasn't like Morrowind tier, but it was still real solid. I don't know. Yeah. It's, um... I don't know, they're like time-consuming games to play. Like, I don't I don't know if I would... Like, I, <laughs> here's what, I never played Skyrim. Uh, which is... I'm one of the, like, the three people on Earth who hasn't played Skyrim. <laughs> this is just like... Uh... I just don't want to spend the time playing Skyrim. New Vegas, you can talk to someone who's struggling with their hatred for someone who wronged them so deeply. That's what just covered. He was set on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon and survived. New Vegas is like, uh, the, the writing in New Vegas is like, generally like, I agree with everyone that it's, like, the more interesting one, um, in terms of, like, the factions and stuff. We gotta get out of this. Drawn square shit that I'm doing. So we're just gonna mess this page up. Actually, I'm gonna start over. There, there's like, I mentioned earlier, but when there's like a certain amount of scrubbing that paper can take and it will begin to uh, fall apart. Um, I do remember the Elvis sideboard. That was pretty good. It's definitely one of the most fun post-apocalypse settings. Um, a tube of... I need like cadmium yellow or like some, I need like a bright, um, where's cadmium? Do I have like a lemon? I have a lot of uh, old water colors. Hey Stefan, thanks for stopping by. Exercise like interpreting cloud shapes. I can already tell that's like spines on top of the cube. Not... 
too far. It'd be too obvious if, like, that's the fish's mouth and those are, like, ridges in the back. I can do something a little different. Um, it's just blobs that I'm going to draw on top of. yellows and blues because they are a complement. Oh yeah, you have cadmium yellow. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> hey, Knights of the Round Bagel. That is a good name. Caput modem. Mordom. <laughs> like the color of rigor mortis. <laughs> Actually, I do like how, like, some, uh, pigments have specific names. You can, like, compare them. Like, I have several different brands of, like, Prussian blue. What brand are your colored pencils? Just out of curiosity, if you uh, find them to be any good. <laughs> they're not branded then uh <laughs> you'll have like a, a good pack of mystery art supplies you don't have to worry about saving you can just use them up it's like sometimes when like I buy like nice art supplies I'm like get too precious about like using it or something. This was originally going to be a angel fish, but somehow turned into a daisy. I don't know.
if something is designed to be used, use it or it's just waste of money. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's just like, uh, like pressure to do uh, good work with it or something. Definitely, it's like, uh, you know, I, I was saying earlier that <laughs> in this sketching progress, it's like you'll probably see me <laughs> glob on way more paint at times than is necessary, and it's like, well, that's <laughs> I kind of stopped caring about <laughs> preserving everything. What's my favorite fish? I like uh, pea puffers because I want. I eventually want a fish tank with those little guys. They seem like they have a lot of character. They have like super cute faces. <laughs> Sudden violence. This guy. <laughs> It's <laughs> getting decapitated. <laughs> yeah, I will hoard nice things too and then waste them. <laughs> well, I mean, it's also like, um,. You, you do have to be realistic, like, like what what I'm doing here, where where I'm truly just messing up. It's like I, I don't really care what this turns out to be looking like, and I, I'm doing it on paper that costs like a tenth of the amount of Arches good watercolor paper. This is like Michael's store brand crap. Um, so, you know. There is, you know, some wisdom to, like, understanding, uh, I don't know. If you can only get good stuff in limited supply, you know, you, you don't want to, like, burn it on something like this for, like, it's, like, destined for the trash can or like just for like a box um. Where's my little flat brush? Yeah, I mean in buying crap too, especially you know, it's like I, I don't know, it's like a Like I said, it, w when I was picking up paper for this, there was no reason for me to get something at the maximum price point. And that's also a reason like why they manufacture stuff that's like cheaper 
made of like less good materials it's just like you don't need like the finest everything all the time That said, I mean, I am still painting with relatively expensive paint on cheap paper, so, like, I'm not, you know. like a very geometrical below rail. What's that look like from the front? Is there like... It'd be funnier if he was like a big slab or something. It was like cut into it. wheel with like pieces missing or something. Interesting. UBI for artists? I feel like if the government wanted like the most bang for the buck, like cheap digital drawing pads, you know, I don't, I feel like it's, it's like subsidized. Hmm, I don't know. I feel in like. <laughs> Where I'm at, it's like if they just had like better art classes in public schools, I feel like that would <laughs> really, you know, <laughs> be a workout, but I don't know. I went to a private school and my art classes were still terrible. Or the the teacher was good, but like um the the art department had a fraction of the budget that like athletic programs had, from my understanding. It was, it was a while ago. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be speaking too certainly. I'm having the one back chat but see what's going on.
I feel like if I was smart, I would have like applied for grants and stuff for South Scrimshaw. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it is actually, I, I really appreciate how, uh, all over the place people have written to me are um, when I was doing like the free postcard giveaways um, I was like sending half of them international which was awesome Sometimes that works where it's like, I don't know, you can just keep like layering stuff just to see if anything else happens. Hey Coco. When you studied animation in community college, your film teacher taught us all about grant process. Yeah, that... Why didn't I uh, get any of that in my art school? I guess the program I was in was really geared towards um, commercial illustration. Um, and it was like, the, the least useful advice ever was like, send art directors uh, a mailer. It's like, it's like, advice that hasn't been like done since like the uh probably the 90s Hey, thanks, uh, Bagel. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I mean, I... Happy to have you stop by. Um, this is, uh... Just behind-the-scenes stuff. <laughs> where it's... Usually I, uh... Keep to myself, but... Why not share?
kind of just making puddles of paint and seeing if anything jumps out at me. Um, Just having this one that looks very sea slug like. It's like a friendly blue fin. Uh, if someone's not doing well, um, definitely uh, you need to, like, I, I know what that's like, but uh, I kind of want people to get the help they need and not you know, kind of come put that in chat. Um, Cause it, it is super important, like, um, to seek help from the correct places is the only way to keep from going down further, you know? Um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, uh, you know, I, I dealt with a lot of that stuff too, but, um, you know, we can't, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm definitely, like, not licensed to, like, <laughs> help people with stuff that serious, and it's, like, uh, I also, like, don't know, like, how serious a situation is, like, just from reading text chat, so I have to be, like, pretty cautious about that stuff. But definitely, you know, I'm trying to have, like, good vibes here if, uh, watching stream helps, you know. This is like the whale from head on. So it's like a giant blue rabbit. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Sir Chandrius. <laughs> Always good to see you. You're doing the uh, VTuber thing. Do you have, do you have a character <laughs> picked out? I rigged a uh, a sea bunny VTuber model for uh, <laughs> I think it was the, the first stream, but my computer couldn't handle it running in the uh, the corner.
VTubing is like a... It, it seems like because people are putting on like a like a character performance i feel like i see more streamers being able to do like variety stuff where like they don't have to hyper like focus on like only doing one thing um If Faye drops by, you can ask her about her VTubing experience. She consistently, like on Twitter, has uh, pretty good art. Um, I don't know if that's like commission or uh, just community fan stuff, but some good stuff. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like the the effect of you know having a mask and being less inhibited. Um, because, I mean, just being on camera is, like, a kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> it's like furries, but with anime girls. Yeah, kind of, I guess. <laughs> that is one analogy I wouldn't have thought of. Trying to uh, give this guy teeth. Oh, Jesus, most of it's got. He's like a. He's a brillo whale, but he's like a giant <laughs> blueberry with like rabbit ears. <laughs> Sorry, my camera is like. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I apologize. <laughs> Going, <laughs> VTubing I feel like is a a niche of weebdom. So you're you're specializing. <laughs> He's a big blue gorilla whale. I want to actually, uh, hmm, clarify that top part. I like how there's like fuzz. I like how blue he is. That's the other. <laughs> if I just like had the idea for this guy, like when I do like my uh, my fish sketches in black and white, that's kind of how I think. It's like a, a, unless I'm like playing around in paint like this, I wouldn't necessarily have the idea to make him that blue, you know? 
which you know, I don't know. Again, it's like this is a uh, helpful for me to do. I'd like to do like a really like deep purple to just cut out silhouette the shape with. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, this guy? No, this is paint, actually. Um, yeah, the watercolor pencils. We'll go back to them in the next page. Um, let's see. I have a tube of... I have this mauve, but I, I really like that, and I might, even though it's a, a large tube, I might not use that for this. I have another tube or something else. Do I take fish requests along with the donation? Um, usually I don't. But uh, for people who hang out and chat, I have. Um, make, make a note of it with your donation. Um, or, or you can like message me on Kofi after you make the donation. And I'll, I'll try to do that. Um, if, if everyone did it, it wouldn't really be possible for me to do the mural. But, you know, if, I don't know. I wouldn't... Uh, there's no reason, like, not to make exceptions, I guess, you know, for people who are kind enough to hang out. Oh, I got a do gouache. I have Holbein gouache. This is like a really violet. Well, gouache is a little bit more opaque. I guess sometimes. I'll try this. So I, I've, I've apparently used a lot of this tube, and I have no idea when that was. It's like half the tube is gone. Is this dry? What the fuck? Stream health is okay. <laughs> All these medium, you know what? It's um, I've just I've played around with a lot of stuff, so I am. I have like a higher comfort level, just kind of like splashing around and doing whatever. Um. So. Don't uh, feel intimidated if you're just starting. And also, you know, it's like, I think one of the reasons it's like, uh, if, if I can feel, when I first started learning, like, se seriously studying art, um, it's like I, I fixated on one medium, which was pen and ink, and only black and white, with sometimes painting light color on top, but it wasn't until I felt like very grounded and confident in that that uh i sort of could like experiment and other stuff and like feel feel confident in it so maybe if like you feel overwhelmed with all the options like you do find one that uh you know it could even just be like graphite like pencil and paper you know is a totally legit media um i don't know that that would be like one way to to, to deal with like uh, the, the the paralyzing choice of everything. Pixel art is literally an art, you know, it, it, in itself. It, it is really, you know, um, 
I would say like, you know, um, I, I do most of my work digital, um, for South Scrimshaw. Like I do have watercolor painting in it. Um, I, I would just say that, uh, you know, if, if you would go to like, like James Gurney's YouTube channel, he has a lot of great advice for, um, you know, how to choose a palette or like how to like simplify stuff. Um, and, and even if your, your finished art pieces aren't, you know, even if you say a pixel artist, you'll pick up some things about color choice that will help influence how you do your other work. Um, and, and it's kind of just fun, you know, but, but again, you know, usually I don't show off my, uh, sketches stuff because I'm, I, I like to sometimes make ugly stuff that I'm not judged for. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't even, it can just be something that you do for fun. I don't know. I'm an advocate for just painting for the sake of it. <laughs> I think one of the hardest things about pixel art is like, um, just, uh, it's like back in the day, like, like I love like PC 98 style art and there's a really unified aesthetic to it because of the limitations of the machines that they were all working on. And they were they were talented artists on top of that, but like there is like a, a distinctive quality to them. And nowadays all our machines are so powerful that it, it's it's like you have to intentionally decide how you want to limit yourself, I guess. Or I mean you can just be unlimited. Like you don't have to go that route. But um I don't know. Like, if I was going to do pixel art, I would, <laughs> I would overthink that step. <laughs> I really like some pixel art, though, so that's just why I'm talking at length about it. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's like getting a style is just, yeah, sticking with it. Do you post on Twitter? That's that's usually like where I find people's arts. Yeah, I like it. It's like a uh, purple behind the guy. It is a nice purple. It's um, this is gouache from um, where am I spacing it? Hold on. Can you guys see that? I don't have a... Yeah. It's um... Oh no, that isn't the set. It's out of this one. But they, they make nice squash. This is not terribly expensive either. I feel like it's um... It's a Japanese brand, but um... I, 
I it didn't see you know I, I was pricing out like what kind of gouache I was like trying to find a balance for like a uh, quality to expense because I, I didn't really know a whole lot about how to do gouache um, but you also don't want to learn on like the cheapest type of paint because then like you know good paint kind of behaves differently you'll like learn different wrong habits um, you've been meaning to start posting on twitter it's um it, the only reason i'm on twitter is like i like the uh I like being able to click an image and see it full size and be able to save it to the desktop. I hate how Instagram, it's like embedded in the app and I can't save pictures. Um, I don't know, that's that's kind of <laughs> the main reason I chose it. Also because it used to be you didn't need an account to look at it, but they got rid of that, so I don't know. I think it's like you kind of have to just try every social media and then whichever one you do best on uh, should be the one you go with, I guess. Some people have uh, good luck on places like ArtStation. Um, I've just never done those sites. There's also like Pixiv. Um, DeviantArt is still a thing. I don't know. There, there are a lot of options. I don't want to say Twitter's the best just because I'm on it, but <laughs> I, I tend to see people first. You know, it's like a. I get tagged on Instagram and, and I feel like super bad that I don't see it for weeks. Um, These uh, bright purple mountains are feeling very Dragon Ball to me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to keep working on this. I got the idea across. There will be a giant blue Rilla Will in the next chapter. Um. I'm uh let me use the restroom real quick. Uh you worked as a front end designer on a DeviantArt competitor. That's a shame there aren't more of like competitors to I don't know. People just don't want to leave, like, the three social media platforms. I don't know. Even art while <laughs> I, uh, I did a, a job when I was in LA and the DeviantArt headquarters was like two floors above me. <laughs> I never I never went up two floors to see what was going on. So I like that guy 
he was funny. Again, if it was like like when I started that, I didn't even know those were big blue ears when I was drawing them. Uh, the uh, the finished brilla whale, whatever he chooses. To... Now that's interesting because the um, how am I gonna do him? There's so much blue in the background. I'll figure it out. That's a question for another day. Um, but I am, uh, I'm gonna take a bathroom break and maybe make a cup of tea. Um, I will be right back. My stream's off. Right. Okay, it's not frozen. <laughs> I'll be right back. Maybe like five minutes.
blazing white light. Hang on. It's now uh, out of focus. How do I focus? Um, let's see. This was the one that, uh, now it looks like shit. What are we doing? Pick a color, you guys. Kind of stuck in this, like, yellow glue. It wasn't very productive last time. Too many choices. <laughs> See pink, brown. All right. Can do that. I don't know what color petrol is. I guess like a sienna type color. I have a uh, tube of pink watercolor that I don't use much. It's very like grainy. Might be a chance to do that. Cleaning my palette. This is, uh, I'm mixing watercolors in a tray over here. Pink and brown is actually, a, I think, a nice color. More like accented with. Uh, oh, petrol is oil. <laughs> Why did I think petrol referred to a, uh, like, refined gas? Um. Why is this, uh, focus? Let me, uh, get new water. This is mostly purple. Better if I just mix it. Do like uh, some white cabinet. Okay, Thank you. 
Pink's a little too orange. And put some like like a zoom crimson in there or something. You guys can't see that. It's enough paint. Oh shoot, I should have done a uh, permanent rose. Anyway, this is going to be better. One second. Sorry, chat. I'll see you in a second. I'm just, uh... Okay, so I got... Pink and brown. I feel like I should do an axolotl. Obvious pink animal. <laughs> like, I'm so Gesso primer the paper first. Interesting. I've actually uh, not heard of <laughs> My life hack for getting <laughs> art supplies is find out when uh, freshmen are leaving the dorms <laughs> at the art school and then go see what they're throwing away in the dumpsters. Gotten many art supplies that way.
Oh yeah, <laughs> just so it wouldn't work for uh, watercolor. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Camera's out of focus. Sorry. Let me uh, pull chat to where you can see it beyond me. Foreboding music. Looking up from below. It's a cute little axolotl. I said I was going to use these watercolor pencils, and then I just like. my day <laughs> and everyone else's <laughs> Thank you. 
cross section of like muscle. There is another reason to fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you will understand why. You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. Yeah, he's a very charming axolotl. It was just like too uh, clear a thing. I don't know. It's like a pretty long delay between um, what I'm doing in stream. Like, uh, it's like 30 seconds before I could see that that wasn't something that you could see. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I thought I had the stream the stream delay set the ultra low latency. I'm not sure what would be causing such a long delay. Or maybe it's on my end. I I'm not really sure.
sins, when the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive, after the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. cult leader talking to, uh, was her name, Alessa Giuseppe? Was, was that her name? No. Uh, Alessa was the girl from, uh, Silent Hill 1. Who was, like, making evil demons. So he was, like, trapped in a hospital. And, like, demons were coming out of her. It was a cult leader. Um, and in Silent Hill 3, they're trying to use... Uh, it's like Rosemary's Baby stuff. Like, pretty, pretty... Last fight with Alessa is one of the creepiest parts in the Silent Hill series. On the uh, the Ferris wheel. If I remember correctly. It is a, uh, <laughs> a fish, I guess. <laughs> it's just, you know, an anatomical drawing.
Oh yes. The uh and you you all better. It's like a solid fifteen seconds before I can see if this is correctly on camera. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a... So I've got that big piece of sushi on top. Can give them cool bones. Hang on. Before you get bones, you can get silent trail. <laughs> Fish guts is entirely because someone suggested pink. <laughs> That's this is what you got, but I appreciate the uh, suggestion. When I was doing the uh, the Vorpix octopus den that was full of fish skeletons, was like the uh, maybe like the first time I really like studied fish bones, and it was super fun. Not like an expert on the subject matter, but um, This is one another instance where like uh, watercolor and gouache dry way darker than they go on and uh, very apparent here. I have white that's opaque so I can probably just drop a highlight on top. Um, Need some purple on this end too. Balance it out, I guess. Let's do another 
miscellaneous working. <laughs> Lady Pyramid Head. <laughs> Pyramid Head was the uh, the not so subtle metaphor. <laughs> he wishes he never designed Pyramid Head. Yeah, it really like took on the, the life of like a mascot character. Um. I like that color bro. It's a uh... Yellow and violet. It's missing, I think, is like uh, that big flank of pink is a little too uninterrupted. Um, give it a little bit more variation. My palette, <laughs> all the the paint has like blended together. I'm uh, struggling just to mix anything that will work for this. Cause I want to do like a shadow tone for the underside. But I don't just want to like. I want some of the more complicated colors from around here. It is fun just to like paint 
and have it not be digital. Like, I, I don't know. It just has a very different feel. I like how uh, separate the colors seem. Like the head is so like extremely purple. They're like everything is kind of like painted separately. Um, I mean, I could keep doing fish guts, but I kind of feel <laughs> satisfied in the topic. <laughs> More cephalopods, definitely. I can add that to the list. Yeah, because a lot of, like, Silent Hill 2 is, like, narratively, like, very specific to that game. Um, <laughs> it's very much a, like a jumping the shark uh, moment to uh, just have it be, like, the mascot. <laughs> Octopus like. <laughs> uh, that was a James Bond movie. Um, I'm not gonna choose like a specific cephalopod. I'm also gonna set this guy aside. That's actually one sketch that is kind of fun. <laughs> Nate, no. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> Had enough of you bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Could also be an octopus that looks like a cat. <laughs> Keep your mind out of the gutter, chat. Cat girl octopus. <laughs> uh, let's see if we're doing that. I guess I could still be like Red Zanda. This is a. Uh... There's a, a really long delay. I'm sorry I keep complaining about that, but my. Maybe if I refresh something. What I was going to show is the 
my paints are all messed up. Uh, one thing I'm not good at that I could probably use actual instruction from a more skilled painter is how watercolor painters organize the colors on the palette and keep things manage manageable. Um, I just put everything out in the butcher's tray. And, uh, I like letting things blend together, but then it hits a point where like nothing, when everything's completely blended together, it's not helpful. Then I end up wasting paint. That's what I'm doing right now. Shit. Yeah, um, I'm way less productive when I try to use these colored pencils. Uh, I don't know. It's like there's, it's not natural. It just doesn't, it's like when, when if I'm using a pencil, I, I like either dry media or wet media. It's this weird in between that I'm not sure how it works. Like I feel like I would make better art if I was just using these without water and using the, the dry look to best effect and drawing fine line. Um, I'm, I'm sticking with a uh, piece of wash for now. See what colors of blue I have. Here's an ancient tube of cypress green. That blue green might be cool with uh, pinks and reds. Wow, that's totally dried in the tube. Like I could cut the tube open. It's essentially like a, a cake. That is a really pretty color. Um, damn. Well. We'll uh, slice it open another time. I don't feel like doing that right now. I gotta wash my hands also. I just uh, okay. Alright, for the octopus, I'm gonna do something different. I'll paint the shape, and then do line work and color pencil over top. That's the octopus head.
たまにちゃんと聞いて Ornithology is really cool. That sounds. <laughs> One of、uh, my favorite、um, nonfiction writers is an ornithologist, Bernd Heimann. Very good ones.、Um, <laughs> Octopus and Corbett have a、uh, power sharing agreement over their respective domains. <laughs> Octopus need to、uh, work on their lifespan. They're not going to take over anything, they keep falling apart in their、uh, infancy. Octopus, a squid, a cuttlefish. <laughs> you left SCP. One of the things I like about a Lobotomy Corporation is it feels like、um, they realize some of the potential of the SCP idea but made their own fiction with it. It's got like a pretty unique flavor to it. <laughs> Eat the spider. <laughs> To tell the tale.、Uh,
our Nautilus stuff on the pods? Because I'm putting the Nautilus here. Okay, good. <laughs> of the kind. They should have kept the shell. Shell was a good idea. Yeah, they had it made. They should have just gotten smart and kept their little house. Although then they wouldn't have their cool shape-shifting power, so... Squid eyes look like. I don't remember them having like crazy weird peoples. I'll see you, Bagel. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Personal Moby Dick in the form of ancient extinct sea creatures that never left any fossils. Yeah. 
and, and it's like the uh, the very specialized conditions that are needed to actually make fossils. Um, we're missing out on all kinds of cool stuff. I like tentacles like that. I might, uh. I don't want to give these guys any more detail. But, um. Spaghetti noodle tentacles. Like that. I don't know. There's something there. I've been going. I didn't want to do a huge. Four hours. Yeah, I might just do uh, maybe like I don't know. One more. Not like a. Uh... Well. If I wasn't streaming, you know, I probably would have started early in the day and had, like, sketch for, like, twice the amount of time. But, um, yeah, I didn't done this in a while. And, uh, yeah. It's just good to get back into it, because, uh, like, like I said, I, I want more different looking gorilla whales for the uh, upcoming chapter. Um, next time, I think I will um, get clay, because that sounds fun. Like, after I said that, it sounded like something I wanted to do. Um, almost all of my uh, palette here is uh, reds, so this last page is going to be very red. I'm also uh, reusing this page so I don't waste any piece of paper. This guy was fine, but uh, I will see you, thing is true. <laughs> Thanks for helping out as always. I appreciate it. <laughs> Play stream will be fun. Um, we'll see what comes out of it. It's it's also like I love sculpting. I I really have the chance to do it, and I, I'm not gonna claim to be like an amazing sculptor, but um, I'm going to use this stream as an excuse to sculpt stuff. Alright, so the most useful sketches so far were the ones where I just started without deciding what it was that I was drawing. how that bled up into it. Um, I 
That's cool. It's like something layered. Be good chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the police are leaving. That's a very large underbite. Kind of macabre looking, but uh, also kind of neat. Someone's got to fill the powder back. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no self-appointed <laughs> janitors. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like, kind of like that. I'm gonna try that another. So I guess the red was more liquid than the yellow, so the red diffused into the yellow. Go the other way. See what happens. <laughs> yeah. Sitting back and watching people fight on the internet. That's <laughs> much wiser. <laughs> Either of these appear to be fluid enough to run into each other.
Now I'm just experimenting on how to make paint come together. I wish I knew how to get these sort of bleeding effects reliably. I think I would just have to like sit here and do tests for a while. I, w I would like love to have that kind of control and tension. Um, should try like working on damp paper too. It's probably. This is for next time, because I don't really feel like doing it right now, but if my paper was damp, I, I would have like more time to work. <laughs> the axolotl is uh, the favorite of the day, I guess. <laughs> I think the fish guts were the best thing I did today. See, it's, it's a whale you're looking at him head on. Like the other one I did. <laughs> he looks like he has a bad headache. Oh no. Poor guy. Look at him a happy expression. No. <laughs> He's a. Uh... Having a rough day. I don't know. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll I'll post the fish guts to Twitter. Uh, that one was actually pretty alright. I don't want to draw something sad for the last one. We gotta do simple happy animal. Um, wasted too much of that thing. This is an ancient tomb. why he's unhappy the, the state of new metal <laughs> 2024 he has nothing to listen to <laughs>
duck with very separate colors. It's mallards that have a little notch at the end of their beak. I think that's cute. There we go. It's a duck. <laughs> Alright. Where's the, uh,. This one looks like shit, but I remember what I was thinking when I did it, and it will be a good bullet wheel. That was best painted. Yes. So it was fun. I actually I had a good time, um, and I, and I'm glad that uh, I didn't not stream today because I was tired. Because. It's always more fun and less difficult after uh, you get started, or after I start working. Um, switch. Yep. One second. So. Yeah, I, I appreciate everyone hanging out for the sketches. And, and there is like a type of, uh, I, I don't know, like inspiration or like suggestions from chat are just tend to be like random or like it helps to get input that's like not just from me. So um, it, it is helpful. This is fun. And we'll do clay next time. I'll, I'll like just have like Sculpey. Um, like I said, I'm not the uh, most amazing sculptor, but I also have from Christmas, I believe, uh, a, a gifts certificate for uh, Blick. So <laughs> if I can't find my clay, I will be able to buy some. And like, uh, I'll be in the city tomorrow, so maybe I'll just buy some anyway. Because I got it. <laughs> Oh, the cat girl octopus. Uh, maybe next time. <laughs> I would have added cat ears had I remembered, but uh, didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, you all have the uh, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> K Angel, thanks for stopping by. Coco, Beckus, thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah. 
I still enjoy doing this. This is like a... Uh... Sal Scrimshaw continues. Um... I mentioned earlier, like this week I was bound, like I had to take on tax day. I had to do more other work, but I'm still every day trying to get something done, even if it's small. It's like, but uh, still, still continuing on. So anyway, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone who stopped by. I really appreciate it.